feels like an eternity since I've seen the walls of Garrick Mock. Who knew we'd leave as students and return at the head of the Imperial Army? Lady Rhea must be so angry at us. Oh, why did I agree to come along? We'll be lucky if angry is as far as her feelings go on the subject. I imagine she's apoplectic. I don't know that word, but it has way too many syllables not to be scary! The Knights of Saros will likely fight tooth and nail to stop us. Well, we've got teeth and we've got nails, so I don't care who we're facing. I'll brush them all aside. Worry not. While they may have a monastery to hole up in, we possess the superior numbers. Garagmok is well fortified, but not impregnable. We can't assume victory based on numbers alone. Anything could happen. So let's just be careful. Good. And remember, our goal is to seize the monastery, not raise it to the ground. The soldiers are ready, Your Majesty. We can begin the attack at once. The scouting is also finished. We know with certainty where the enemy will be taking its positioning. We are owing this to Monica and her perfect memory. She has incredible knowledge of this place. As usual, Monica, your talents are invaluable. I really didn't do much, Your Majesty. That is, um, it was truly an honor to assist you. Not to say I've finished helping you, of course. In fact, I am always at the ready. Don't ever change, Monica. And finally, who do we have here? This is my little sister, Flesh. I was given approval to make her my attendant. Flesh von Burgley's at your service, Your Majesty. My brother and I are, um, in your hands. Ah, so you're Kaspar's famous aunt, who's actually younger than he is. Yes, Your Majesty. The very same. Flesh is too green for battle but she'll be providing support from behind the front lines. You can rely on me. I realize saying this might make the situation worse, but there's no need to be so nervous. If you act to the best of your abilities, all will be well. Now then, everyone, the time has come. The time to take Garrig Mok and reclaim Fodlan. Jumping straight into the maw of our enemies, eh? Ooh, how exciting! Is this where I should talk about my heart racing? Huh? Since when do we talk about your feelings? That's new. Another day, another stage to conquer. I'm ready to be battling. Do not throw. So, sure. I will gladly handle this. Orders, here I go. They must learn who. Right then. Let shall we join. Begin. Our teamwork is... There is not a question of can. Let us face up... Leave this one to me. This will... Away your <laughs> lives, friends. Be not reckless as you attend to our defense. A defensive position within the monastery walls? This is merely a storming tactic. 
We must dispatch them at once. Then the brute force approach it is. Garrick Mach must fall. We'll start on the lower level and work our way up, taking control of the walls. Split into groups and take those strongholds. The enemy is desperate. Then Why'd they drag me into this? Not there. We'll most likely dispatch troops to recapture any strongholds we seize. We are no guards for this tactic. If you don't want to fight, then surrender. I swear no harm will come to you. That's very nice of you, but they gave me a home here. So I should probably put up at least some kind of fight. Not a bad guy. I will collect orders received. They must learn. Watch this. <laughs> to think I would be serving the church and fighting my own homeland? Is this the goddess testing me? <laughs> Let's bring this stronghold down efficiently. Why are you, of all people, cooperating with the church? All I can say is I was unlucky enough to be nearby when the church had need of fighters. I beg your forgiveness, your majesty. Forgive my inept So ends my brief and meaningless existence. <laughs> Is this what you want? Here I go. They must. So. Sure, let's try it. Orders to die guess. here in shape. This doesn't have to be your end, Constance. Join us. Fight with the Empire. As you wish, Your Majesty. I do not deserve to throw my feeble existence away in such a manner. My sense of depart. Not a problem. Darkness in your power. If you harbor ill will towards them, then help us fast them. I know which them you're talking about. Well. It's not like I want revenge or anything, but sure. Sign me up. The right flank has broken the enemy line. The left is through. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try. Here I go. No mistake. It was well, Your Majesty. <laughs> Excellent job, both. But there is still much work to be done. I will not sit idly by and allow Garrick Mock to be placed in further danger. The enemy is unleashing powerful magic. We can't hold out for long. The enemy is after the strongholds we captured. They'll be. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. I've got this. They must retake them if we don't defend them quickly. <laughs> Some parts of the monastery walls appear weak. An armored unit could likely smash through and provide another way in. <laughs> to intercept those reinforcements. <laughs> those are the Knights of Seros. Here I go. No, they must learn who the jerk is. This is not the bad silly. Time to show how strong you've become. <laughs> there, we've created a new path. Now we can reach the strongholds with greater ease. 
So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Oh, couldn't hurt. Uh, take a breather. Yeah. Fresh soldiers incoming. Don't worry, we'll handle them. From above. We are having the advantage, but we can turn it around. Not a problem. I've got this. I have orders received. Will this the walls? No! Send reinforcements at once! <laughs> I think we've handled the situation. I care not for your reasoning. There can be no excuse for war. Hey, I actually held my own. I have to defend the monastery, whatever it takes. The enemy shows no sign of stopping. So, what should I be doing? Sure, let's try it. Orders received. Here I go. They must look. I'm ready. And if we don't keep an eye on our strongholds, we'll be sure to lose them. Retreat while you still can, Flame. I beg you. Very well. Stay safe, my brother. <laughs> I thought that scary magic would never let up. <laughs> No! I have Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up with. Not a problem. I've got this. So what should I do? Sure. I have to do better. <laughs> Does that mean he's given up? Your punishment! We have the ground surrounded. Now we just need to fight our way up to the monastery proper. We can retreat, no further! You Empire soldiers will rue the day you took up arms against Garrick Mark! Not a problem. Thanks for the rescue. We owe you. It is not a problem. We have preparedness for these things. Keep going! We're making progress! I will not ask you your reasons. Not anymore. But I will see your evil punished! I will gladly hand orders received. I've got this. So... What? Sure, let's try it! Here I go. No mistakes. They must... My turn?
So, what should I? Sure, let's try it. Not if I've got this. They must learn. I'll take over. Line open. Struggled so. No longer. The rest is up to you. Worry not, Seteth. Nor you, Flame. You both did well to hold them back this long. Now come forth, all of you. Protect Garrig Mach from those despicable rebels. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got this. So... What should I be doing again? Sure. So Lady Rhea has decided to show herself at last. Stealth hearts, everyone. Victory can only be ours if we strike her down. <laughs> I'll fight for Lady Rhea until the end. Your punishment! Ready the heavy weaponry. We can no longer afford the luxury of worrying about collateral damage to the town. She will be in serious trouble if they target Her Majesty. We have to take control of those weapons right now. I have to protect her. Down before you have time to strap your armor on. Work hard now. I don't take orders from you. This is the end. I'm sorry, Lady Rhea. I can't here. fight anymore. Your efforts will not be in vain, Cyril. I will send these sinners to meet the goddess. So, sure, let's here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. So, what should I be doing again? Uh, the fire is loaded and ready. Perhaps it's time to attack the enemy where it truly hurts. What do this? Unleash the fire! <laughs> How could you set the town ablaze? for trying to target Her Majesty like a pack of cowards! So you have sullied yourself by joining the rebels. In that case, I hope you came prepared to breathe your last. Explain yourself. 
Why do you betray the teachings of the goddess and seek to shatter Fogrin's fragile peace? Seeing as I have no idea what you speak of, this is going to be a short discussion. Now either stand aside or face me. What do you stand to gain for involving yourself in this? It's not a mystery. I'm a mercy, and she's got the coin to pay me. I can't permit you to desecrate Garrett Mock for one minute further. You got my back? Witness our power! We'll do it together! I yield you the monastery for now, Edelgard. But know this, there will be no forgiveness for your blasphemous actions this day. No, I don't expect there will be. Take heart, everyone. Garrick Mach has fallen, and victory is ours. Lady Rhea, are you hurt? Oh, Catherine, you came. Not soon enough. Garrick Mach is done for. It is all right. For now, we must retreat. This path is unknown to the Empire. It will take us out to ALL, the Valley of Torment. From there, we make for Fargus to seek aid. The Empire attacked from the east, which means at least some of the Alliance's lords must have aligned with them. But those of the Kingdom are devout. We can trust them. I have already sent a messenger ahead requesting reinforcements, and, should the need arise, asylum. In that case, I'll talk to my parents and ask for their assistance as well. Regardless, we should hurry. We can't let the Empire get ahead of us and send troops onto Kingdom soil. Now, follow me, if you would. Thank you, Catherine. Let Edelgard have Garrick Mach for now. Let her enjoy this fleeting moment of glee. Because when we return here, Edelgard von Hressvelk will suffer a death beyond her greatest imagining. This is not what I expected. My victories are for Lady Edelgard. Well, would you look at that? Hey, a new power! All right. I'll surely put this to good use. This power will serve me in the times to come. Mock, you remain ever as resplendent as the day I left you. The place cannot be so dear to your heart that it requires inferior poetry for an introduction. Inferior? I will have you know that line comes from one of my favorite operas. However, I concede I may have gotten carried away, what with my head still swimming from battle. I know exactly what you mean. Something about Garrett Mock is just special. And our victory here is going to have a huge impact on the war, right? Yes. This should be enough to lure some of the more indecisive nobles into our camp. I only wish I could vanquish the guilt I feel for turning on the church like this. Still, 
It was my decision to fight by Aedy's side, and I stand by it to the end. I see. In that case, proceed as planned. Deploy the pursuit units immediately. At once, Your Majesty. So, Rhea and the others escaped with the help of a great white beast, did they? Almost as if the Immaculate One that saved Saint Saros has returned from the mists of legend. Although, it's a bit unnerving the way it sprung out of nowhere. I knew we shouldn't have messed with Lady Rhea. She can be so scary. I'm just going to go back to my room and stay there until forever, okay? Okay. Do as you like, Bernadetta. But realize your father will be arriving in Garrick Mock soon. This is the seat of the Church of Saros, and as bishop, his place is here. R really? In that case, I think I'll just forget about the monastery and go with you. Good. Just be aware we may be marching for the kingdom next. The kingdom? Ugh, I possess no love for the cold, but I will try to grin as I am bearing it. Point at the path to your foes and I will be hunting them to their final breath. Don't get ahead of yourself, Petra. Whether we capture or kill will depend on the foe. Now then, enough wasting time. We need to find Rhea and we need her alive. Two years ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. You say fighting, but I think you mean instigating. Let's be fully clear about our role in all of this. Still, this is a positive turn of events for you, yes? How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And those associates you happen to be working with should be tough enough to take on you-know-who. Geralt's mercenaries. Yeah, good point. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. Relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined. Listen up, boy. You're not going to believe this. Judith, do you think you could ease up on the whole boy thing? I'm your fearless leader now, remember? But sure, tell me what happened. You might want to take a seat for this. Garrig Mach Monastery has fallen. Not even the Great Knights of Saros could stop the invaders' overwhelming numbers. Wait, what? That's not possible. They should still be days away from the monastery. How did they manage to deliver an army of that size to the gates of Garrig Mach so quickly? Unless... This can't be happening. Did Count Gloucester turn? And Acheron too? I'm afraid both houses fly Imperial colors now. House Phlegathon yielded the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden, and Gloucester waved them right on through. Those filthy liars! When I warned them the Empire was raising an army, they couldn't stop puffing their chests and crowing about how they'd hold the border. But it looks like the Empire had already gotten to them. This is all my fault for not keeping my ear to the ground. I'm afraid that wouldn't have helped, Fearless Leader. All the dirty dealings were handled via letter. But now I've lost the initiative. And against Edelgard, no less. She can come at the Alliance with gloves off now. This is a real problem. What is it? Sir, we have an unexpected guest. It's, uh, Lord Holst of House Goneril. Holst? What's the strongest man in Leicester doing at my door? Besides thinking about battering it down, I mean. 
You can ask him yourself, sir. He is present. Apologies for dropping by without warning, my lord. I just happened to be near Deirdre when word reached me about Garrick Mach. I didn't realize you were in our neck of the woods, Holst, but please, come make yourself at home. As fate would have it, I was just pulling my hair out over the exact same problem. Can you believe that Count Gloucester? He turned on us like it was nothing. If I don't handle this situation with the Empire delicately, it will fracture the Alliance. If you have any sage advice, now would be a great time for it. Or muscle. I'll take muscle if that's what I can get. I came here to help however I can. We must work together to keep Lester safe, and more importantly, free. Garrig Mach has fallen to the Empire, Your Majesty. I did not expect it would last long. Is Lady Rhea safe? Yes. She escaped, and is on her way here with a small force. I see. This won't be like granting asylum to your standard refugee. If we take the Archbishop in, it will be tantamount to declaring war on the very Empire. Is that a risk you're willing to accept, Your Majesty? It is. We have already thoroughly discussed the matter with the Kingdom's Lords. Even if I refrain from deciding publicly one way or the other, the Empire will still insist that we hand Lady Rhea over. The Kingdom's people and government are too frail to stand without the Holy Church's support. I agree with her ultimate goal, but such a situation calls for gradual reform over time. The Emperor's desire to tear it up rapidly will not do. Then it is a good thing we've prepared for such contingencies. I will start by sending a party to ALL to welcome our new guests. Thank you. I would go myself if I could, but I'm needed here to prepare for the war. For now, send messengers to Counts Galatea and Karen, imploring them to muster troops for our defense. Oh, and send for House Fraudarius as well. Let's make sure our new Duke earns his title. Grave news, Your Majesty. Hmm? What is it now? Count Roe has declared fealty to the Empire and is marshalling his troops as we speak. Also, one of his bannermen, Lord Lenato, is moving to hunt down and slay the Archbishop. We have long held our suspicions about House Roe, but I never expected their actions to plunge us into war. And after all the discussions we've had to prevent exactly this, he must believe his reason is just. Very well, then. Our plans have changed. I will go and meet with Lady Rhea personally, and House Fraudarius will serve as my guard. Inform Galatea and Karen. They are to gather their troops in Erebus and Geraint lands. Lord Lonato was once a faithful servant to the Crown. Will you now see him executed? I have no mercy for traitors, no matter their pasts. On the contrary, I have an obligation to protect the kingdom from his kind. We've struggled long to attain this peace. I will not permit the Empire to crush it beneath their foot now. <laughs>